What is the risk-free rate? This is a great question, and it varies depending on which asset you're comparing to. So traditionally, the three-month treasury bill is considered to be the risk-free rate. However, if you're using the comparison because you're trying to find the discount rate perhaps for uh, equities, which is very long or infinite duration, it might be more comparable to use the 10-year or 30-year treasury as a uh, risk-free rate. Now, keep in mind, for equities, technically, when you're doing a discounted cash flow uh, valuation, traditionally, the, the discount uh, rate is not just the risk-free rate, but it also includes a component for uh, equity risk premium. So that's something to keep in mind, which we'll discuss in another video. But this is very important because rates, when people say rates have gone up, uh, they're talking about the risk-free rate, the curve, generally, the treasury yield curve. So, for example, the three-month T-bill. Uh, you can essentially sit on your hand, do nothing, keep rolling short-term T-bills, and collect close to 5% uh, risk-free. This is guaranteed by the U.S. government, the world's reserve currency holder. So it's essentially risk-free or as risk-free as you can get. And that is the golden benchmark against all other investment returns. We hope you found this video helpful. Check us out at houseit.com to learn more about how you can sell or buy real estate in New York or Florida and save money when you do so.